Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com and this is a continuation, this is part 2 of the WX Form Builder tutorial on how to build a GIF viewer using Python and WX Python. Now in the last tutorial we did the settings for a Form Builder project We've called it FB GIF Viewer. There's the name of the actual project. We've created the desk code, uh, where the code goes in this tutorial, the project, but we haven't set up the file. So what we'll do is we'll give the file name simply GIF Viewer. Okay. So we call it a GIF viewer. We save that. And as you remember, the settings are saved. Where's my template folder? Right. So this is our form builder project file. The when we're designing the GUI, we will then save the Python code in the desk code folder. So, um, we've created the name, now we're saving it. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll create a frame. Up here you have component palette. You have different widgets. You've got tabs along here. Uh, you've got the common uh, widgets, which would be buttons, uh, static text, uh, text control, uh, static bitmap, You've got your combo box and various other widgets that are quite common when designing a, uh, a, a, a an application. And you have more widgets here. Now we want to create a frame. Uh, last tutorial part one I mentioned a form. Well actually we want a frame. But when you start a project, you need to use a form, and that form could be a frame or a panel. If you create a panel as a form, then you would use that to import it into a notebook. So you can have different tabs, and you import various panels in those tabs. That's a future tutorial. So we want a frame in the Forms tab, so we click that. And in the designer mode, we have a frame. Over here in the object tree, we also have a frame. It's called My Frame 2. Over here in the object properties, the name is My Frame 2. So we want to change that to Frame Main. So this is the main frame and we want to put a title. The title will appear on the top of the frame. So we'll call this My GIF Viewer. There we go. So that's the only setting we need to set, not unless you've got size. You might want to make it say 600 by 500 so you can change the size you can also restrict it uh, like it can't go any smaller than the size that you set here it could be the width only or it could be the height or it could be both so you're able to change the size here that's all we need to do so we'll save it and click save now, we want to put a panel on here. Uh, now, we'll be using sizes to connect our panel, or a size to connect our panel. And you can view it as where sizes are cement when you're doing brickwork. Okay, the foundation is the project. Okay, well, actually, the foundation is frame. And then on the frame, we will attach widgets. 
So to do that we need cement to put a layer of bricks on and the cement is a box sizer or it could be various other box, other sizes a flex grid sizer, uh, the grid sizer or a static box sizer so we want a box sizer and there we go now I tend to, after the frame, I'll call this sizer frame that's a frame sizer okay now the next witter will be a panel now we have a panel in the forms but this is a class meaning if you go in here and look at the code that's been generated our class is a WX frame if we were to choose a panel in the forms tab you choose a panel it would then become a class but we just want to add a panel to the frame so we go to containers and we choose a panel which goes on top of the sizer so I go back to the design mode we can't actually see it the panel but trust me it's there okay now the panel name we'll call that panel main there's only one panel in this project and now we'll add another box sizer so click layout to get the sizes click a box sizer and we'll call this panel because it's attached to the panel and then we save it now if you notice we've clicked or highlighted the panel sizer and we have a red square that indicates the sizer on the frame but there's a gap on the edge we need that size uh, the red square to be up against the edge the reason why that is happening is we go into panel scroll down to the bottom and you've got your size item proportion 1 yes we want that that means that if we have which we have WX expand it will fill the whole frame but we have a border and this is on our, our panel widget so we click the flag here and we don't want a border around it so we say 0 for the border but we do want a proportion of 1 we want it to expand so you notice now that the red square which is part of this box sizer is up against the edge of the frame and we'll take out the WX all because we don't need that we just want the expand so we have now created uh, part one was the actual project now part two we've created a frame we've added box sizes and a panel so I'll leave it at that so far but what I will do actually is click that to save go in the Python code and this is all the code that's been created uh, which is the Python code now if we go in to this is where the form builder uh, project file is saved then we go to desk code this is what where we chose to save our frame so if I click over here frame so project and here we go there's the desk code folder and it should be gif viewer okay so we've created as I said a, a frame attached to a box sizer the panel another box sizer now we want to generate the code so we'll click that and then we go to desk code and there it is so I go here 
idle I will open the gift viewer source not the source code in the dev code so this is the code the Python code that's been made straight away created by WX form builder now when we run it which is run F5 run module nothing happens uh, in the next tutorial I'll explain uh, some code that we need sorry uh, code that we need because the formatting is incorrect plus we need to show the frame so I'll explain the code that you need to show the frame so there's a script that we have to write up uh, to clean up this code so that it will work in Python okay so that'll be the next tutorial I hope that's been helpful I hope I haven't confused you okay so I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com I uh, hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment in the uh, comments uh, below and the next tutorial will create a script so that we can clean up this code and add code so that we can see the frame so we can actually run it using idle okay that's it for now see you with the next tutorial bye